Hello friends, hope you have liked my last video about hypoplastic left heart syndrome and its fetal diagnosis. In this video, I wish to discuss with you diagnosis of hypoplastic right heart syndrome which is also called as pulmonary atresia intact IVS or PA IVS. So, this is a wide spectrum of disease. Most important thing that we have to remember is there is a pulmonary valvular atresia and interventricular septum is intact. There is no ventricular septal defect. And RV is generally severely hypoplastic generally and it may have only one or two compartment. Normal RV has got three compartment like inlet, cavity and outlet or inlet trabecular portion and outlet. In this it can have only two or one compartment inlet or inlet and trabecular portion or inlet and outlet portion. Hypoplastic tricuspid wall or small tricuspid wall occasionally it can be seen with Epstein anomaly in the very rare cases due to severe tricuspid regurgitation there can have a dilated RA and dilated right ventricle and a very large heart so important diagnostic clues are small and non apex forming right ventricle or very occasionally usually dilated right ventricle small a dysplastic or occasionally severe dilated tricuspid wall and most important thing no forward flow across pulmonary wall as there is no forward flow in pulmonary wall there is a flow reversal in arterial duct so it's a PDA dependent pulmonary circulation cardiothoracic ratio may be normal or extremely high in rare cases Epstein anomaly can have functional pulmonary atresia which is a result of poor contractility of functional right ventricle. This can be a part of PAIVS also. So let's see at fetal imaging and fetal echo and how to suspect this diagnosis. Looking at this video, we can see this is a left ventricle which is large. As we can see, the as we can see the left ventricle is dominant apex forming while right ventricle is very small and tricuspid wall is hardly opening this is a, a only inlet portion of right ventricle there is no trabecular portion this is another heart in this heart we can appreciate with only left ventricle while right ventricle is not appreciated another heart this is a dominant left ventricle while right ventricle only small tricuspid wall is seen. The right ventricular cavity is not at all appreciated. Another heart. This is a dominant left ventricle with a mitral wall. This is small right ventricle with very small tricuspid wall with few opening. Now coming to flow reversal in arterial duct. Look at this aortic arch. There is a forward flow seen in blue color while there is a flow reversal seen in duct. This is a flow reversal in duct. This is difficult to appreciate pulmonary artery in this video. Again, this is a aortic arch and this is a flow reversal in duct and pulmonary artery. I have shown this in different views so that we understand how to look for it. Otherwise, pulmonary artery may not be visible very clearly. Another page image. In this case, we see forward flow in aortic arch, but there is no flow in the and the red flow that is seen is suggestive of flow reversal in duct. Again, a dominant aortic arch and flow reversal red seen in arterial duct. Here we can appreciate pulmonary artery, but there is no forward flow. There is a reversal of flow in arterial duct. Showing a PW image, pulse wave Doppler, the forward flow in aortic arch and the flow reversal in arterial duct. I just want to show you the change in direction of Doppler. This is an aortic arch which is downward away from the heart and this is in duct which is upwards I am going to show you a couple of Swiss to appreciate the entire anatomy just appreciate the this is fundic bubble then comes LV 
hardly we can appreciate rv quantic bubble lv and rv is not seen tricuspid wall is not seen another sweep we can just quantic bubble lv and rv is very small quantic bubble lv and rv is very small i'm just trying to show a pulmonary venous flow in this case it is important to de uh, de demonstrate pulmonary venous flow in every patient to ru rule out possibility of anomalous pulmonary venous drainage in this case left sidal pulmonary veins are seen clearly with this red flow so points to remember about pa ivs is pa ivs is a progressive disease pulmonary stenosis can develop into pa ivs if pulmonary artery is not visualized on gray scale try with color doppler it can be shown as a flow reversal flow reversal in artery duct is important diagnostic clue for pulmonary atresia in any setting pivs comes in various sizes and shapes and all have different management a pivs with small rv have a different management from pivs with which huge dilated rv expert consultation is warranted in this case hope you have liked my video Thank you.